the determination of water hardness. Attention, in this experiment hazardous compounds are used. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the replication of this experiment. To take a sample for the determination of water hardness, the water is left to run for a short while. When it has been sitting in the pipe, it is possible for it to contain additional contaminations like heavy metal ions, which can have an influence on the measurement. Three solutions are needed. A buffer solution with a pH of 11, which is an aqueous solution of ammonia and ammonium chloride. An aqueous solution of sodium EDTA and a solution of aerochrome black tea in ethanol. For the titration, an Erlenmeyer flask with a stir bar is placed on a magnetic stirrer. Over the flask a burette is placed. Before filling the burette it has to be made sure that the stop cork is closed. Then it can be filled with the EDTA solution. At first bubbles of air are trapped inside which is why the burette is filled above the highest marking. To remove them the stock cock is opened somewhat quickly and the excess solution is collected. Then the level of the solution can be adjusted to the highest marking. The meniscus causes the broad line on the back to taper making it possible to read the values precisely. Next, a sample of 50 milliliters is taken from the water that should be measured. Then the indicator is added. It was found out that the amount was way too low, so more should be added. After adding 10 milliliters of the buffer solution, the sample is ready for the titration. In the first run the EDTA solution can be added quite fast, then the following samples can be determined precisely. The solution changes its color to blue when the titration is finished. To the end it is important to wait a few seconds between the additions because the change can take a while. It can take several seconds until the color change takes place. In the first run 2.6 milliliters of solution were added. In total 6 samples were measured and at the end the mean value was calculated. Then per milliliter of EDTA solution you get 5.6 degrees German hardness which leads to a value of 14.45 degrees German hardness. This is quite high but close to the value of the water utility. Due to the distance to the water source, it is expected that the values tend to vary as it can be seen here. The unit degrees German hardness is only used in Germany and very old, which is why there are a lot of different units for water hardness. From the scientific perspective, the correct unit would be millimoles per liter, so 14.45 degrees German hardness would be 2.58 millimoles of alkali ions. The concentration C of the earth alkali ions is calculated by first multiplying the volume needed with the concentration of the EDTA solution. The result is the amount of moles of EDTA. One mole of EDTA binds to one mole of calcium or magnesium ions, so the value of EDTA is the moles of the ions. Dividing the moles by the volume of the sample leads to the concentration of the ions in moles per liter. When the values of the measurement are put in the equation, it can be seen that the value of the concentration and volume of the sample are the same, so the volume of the EDTA solution quickly leads to the concentration of the ions in moles per liter or millimoles per liter. This was the determination of water hardness. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know more about water hardness, you can watch my video here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.